Hi, I'm Kaylin Abrego, and as you can see, my passion is writing. See, I want to start off with a question with, why do I write? Because you can write for millions and trillions of reasons. Because I have an assignment due tomorrow that I just started this minute. Or because, I don't know, because I need to write. But I write because I need to. I write because it is a way of life for me. Because it is a way for my emotion to drip into the page and for my emotions not to dwell inside my body. See, I aspire to inspire. I want to change lives because I've been given the power to use my words, not wars, nothing like that, nothing violent. No, I have words to change lives. I've seen what my words can do to people. It is honestly, it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. Having my words touching a soul, being able to create such beautiful masterpieces because writing is not just words, no, not at all. Instead, it is art. It is cultivated chaotic mess. It is art. See, it brings people together, and it tears them apart, and it builds you up and it knocks you down. Because words have millions of reasons of why they describe and define who you are. I heal people. I heal people with my words. If a person is in pain, I can make them feel better. Doctors, they use medicine, spend millions of dollars on trying to figure out what is wrong with a person. I can heal them in a minute because of my words. I heal myself to heal others. Emotion is beauty. It is chaotic. It is a mess. And it's all over the place because the human mind is incapable of controlling itself. It needs, an, it needs a place to let itself go. It needs a place to dwell. Because if you let your emotion fester inside of you and let it coop up and contain itself, you will ruin yourself. Writing is a way for me to express myself. It is a definition of who I am. I'm going to read a poem that I wrote. There is beauty in my chaos, sweet and dangerous beauty. And there is destruction in my love, as it calls for prices to be paid. But I am more than my mess, more than the flaws I ever wear. For you have foolishly tried to define me. Carelessly, you judged my flaws. Stupidly, you have tried to drench the fire that burns within me. But you have forgotten. You have forgotten that even dying embers can light a flame. See, I turn my negative into a positive. I turn my days where I feel like it is not, like I am nothing into such beautiful masterpieces. Because I feel that if words can move people, I have been given the power to be able to move mountains with just letters. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It is a way, as I said, to define who I am. Because I do not stick to the labels you tell me who I am. I am not typical. I am not a 13-year-old girl who just happens to go to school like every other person does. No, my writing defines who I am. I want to show the world who I am. I want to show them that I am more than your misconception. Because every person here who has made it on this stage has defined who they are just by talking to you. This is Klein Talks. You're telling the people who you are. And words are a form of talking. They communicate. You bring yourself together. I am connecting with you by talking about who I am by using my words. I am more than anything that your mind can conjure more than anything any person has ever tried to stick on me. Because I am not a label. I'm not a definition. No, I'm a writer. And I choose to be who I am. I don't like to finish with in conclusion because it's just going over what I've already talked about. Instead, I want to tell you how it's important to you. Because you already know why it's important to me because I've already talked about it. Instead, I want to tell you how it can help you. See. I want you to understand that writing is something you do every day. You read. In order to read, you need to write. Because me and the world of writers, we try to connect with you. We want you to see who we are. So take it to heart. Every time you read something that a writer has written, it is supposed to be taken to heart. It is supposed to connect you to who you are and who you think the person is trying to tell you. What is the story? 
behind their words? What is the emotion? Writing is more than words. Thank you.